in that, oh Lord, your healing power, oh Lord, uh, will yes. manifest in that White House this moment in the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus, Father. We commit his children uh, into mm. your hands. His grandkids and great-grandkids are all before you this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We lift up Kamala Harris into your hands. Kamala, Kamala Harris, uh, our vice president, and her and her family members are living before you right now in the name of yes. Jesus, the Father. We pray that, oh Lord, that same God, oh Lord, you are that rock of ages. You are the beginning and the last, the first and the last, oh Lord. We know that, oh Lord, when we come before you on behalf of our leaders, when we come before you on behalf of all that concerns us, oh Lord, you will listen to us so this moment, O oh Lord, even as we lift up Kamala Harris, O oh Lord, and her entire, O oh Father, household, her entire family, O oh Lord, yes. into your hands, O oh Lord, paternal and maternal, O oh Lord, both sides of her family, Father, into your hands this moment, O oh Lord, we pray that, O oh Father, you work in her mind, in her body, O oh Father, based on your word again in Proverbs chapter 20. 21, Father, yeah. hear her mind, her heart, her cognitive abilities be in your hands, O oh Lord. Direct it as a channel of river, O oh Lord, towards your own cause on behalf of this great nation known as the um, United States of America, O oh Lord. We commit the entire, O oh Lord, executive branch into your hands, O oh Father. Yes. Yeah. Appointed, O oh Father, or oh, every individual that has been appointed by the executive branch, whether it is an ambassador, whether that individual is playing the role of secretary of state, whether that individual is playing the role of any form that will represent the arm of the government, that will represent the executive branch, that will be a mouthpiece for the executive branch of Father. We bring all these officials of Father within yes. the executive branch into your hands in the name of Jesus. The Jesus. word says, uh, so they may come to the knowledge of the truth, O Lord. Uh, we don't know their hearts, but you know. We don't know their minds, but you know. Yes. We, we don't know. We don't know their in, uh, coming in and going out, but you know. So we ask yes. for the, the executive branch, O Father, into your hands this moment, O Father, including the secret service, O Father, into your hands. Uh, those who are responsible uh, for the protection of the physical, uh, uh, physical, Father, a uh, uh, presence, uh, Father, of all these individuals into your hands, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Father, Jesus. we lift up them up before you this moment, oh Lord, uh, as you have birthed, uh, oh, out of this ministry, uh, Abrahamic, uh, oh, uh, warriors club, oh Lord, uh, to intercede for this nation, uh, to intercede for these leaders, uh, to yeah. intercede for every elected official to intercede for every office that you have ordained, O oh Lord. We pray that, O oh Father, as you have built this yearning desire through this ministry, O oh Lord, your hand of blessing will be upon yes, us, Father. Yes. So as even as we bring before you, O oh Lord, the executive branch, O oh Father, every element of the executive branch, O oh Father, is before you right now in the name of Jesus, O oh Father. Every element O oh Lord, uh, within the executive branch of Father, uh, all before you this moment in the name of Jesus, may you stretch forth your healing hand upon the executive branch right now in the name of Jesus, O oh Father. O oh Father, any policies, O oh Father, that is in the process, O oh Lord, uh, being signed into law, whether it is in a form of executive or whatever it is, oh Father, we pray that, oh Lord, your blessings and whatever it is, oh Father, will be upon it, oh Lord. We pray yes, that, yes. that, oh Father, any law, any law that will not be beneficial, oh Lord, oh, to this nation, oh Father, oh, may you work through these individuals in the executive branch, oh Father, to know that, oh Lord, you are still in charge, oh Father. We pray and commit them into your hands, oh Father, first and 
and foremost, O oh Lord, that their minds, O oh Lord, will be opened for the salvation. Their minds, O oh Lord, their hearts, O oh Lord, will be open and receptive, O oh Lord, oh, to the finished work of the cross, O oh Lord, to the work of, oh, to the work of cover, O oh Father, yes. the redemptive work that has brought, O oh Father, a reconciliatory, O oh Father, oh, to humanity, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. May this be available to the entire White House this moment in the name of Jesus, oh Father. We pray this moment, our oh Lord, uh, wherever, wherever Joe Biden is, wherever Kamala Harris is, O oh Lord, that somehow, somewhere, O oh Lord, they'll stumble upon this prayer, O oh Lord, yes. and know that you have them in your thoughts. You have them in your mind. You have them within your agenda that they should also be saved. They let them know that there are folks out here who genuinely are concerned about their governance, genuinely yeah. concerned about whatever step they take. We pray that, oh Father, your will be done in their life this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We want to come against the enemy on their behalf this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. Every scheme of the enemy that has been yes. strategized in the, in, the, in the secret place, oh Lord, in darkness, oh Father, against the White House, oh Father, we counsel it right now with the blood of Jesus, the Father. Any scheme and any methodology that has been developed by the enemy, Father, in the dark area, oh Father, in the dark area, oh Lord, in the, in the area that with human eyes cannot see, oh Lord. Yes. We counsel all those things by the blood of Jesus Christ this moment, oh Father. Our major prayer this morning is our Lord, you open the minds, you open your heart, oh Father, enlarge your heart, oh Father, to be able to accept you as their Lord and Savior, oh Father. Yes. We want to thank you this woman. Father, I want to bring before you, oh Lord, the major players of this world today, the social media. Oh Father, we find ourselves on this platform this morning in the name of Jesus, oh Father, Facebook, oh Lord. We lift up Zagabek into your hands in the name of Jesus the Father. We are praying for these individuals because we know that, oh Lord, as they have monopolized the airwaves, as they have monopolized oh, the way we consume our news, oh Lord, uh, if you save any one of them, oh Father, oh, there will be a tremendous tool for your glorification of your name. So as we lift up Mark Zagabek, oh Father, on behalf of every leader, Every leader within, within, within his leadership, O oh Lord. Yes. As him being the leader this morning, his household is committed into your hands in the name of Jesus. His wife is committed into your hands in the name of Jesus. Yes. Their children is committed into your hands in the name of Jesus. Their parents are committed into your hands in the name of Jesus. May you shower down the salvation knowledge, of Father, over them this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. Yes. We bring before you, O oh Lord, of the Microsoft leader, O oh Father, Bill yeah. Gates, O oh Father. We lift up Bill Gates into your hand this moment in the name of Jesus, O oh Father. Oh, these are all oh, the social media gurus, O oh Father, that have dominated, O oh Lord, yeah. the way news is disseminated, O oh Father, the, new, the way news is being brought to our attention. So we pray and bring before you this moment, O oh Lord, Bill Gates of Microsoft. Of the Father, His yes. very, very health is into your hands, oh Father. We yes. pray that, oh Lord, you shall, you shall. You pray that, oh Lord, you let down the salvation knowledge, of oh Father, in Bill Gates' house this moment in the name yes. of Jesus, the oh Father. We pray and commit to oh Father His, His, and um, uh, very uh, inner circle members into your hands. You know them by name. You know them by address. You know them where they live. We commit all of them into your hands this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We bring before you, O oh Lord, O oh, the owner and the founder of Amazon. <laughs> 
Lord. We commit Jeb Bezos into your hands this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We lift him up before you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. We pray that, oh, Father, oh, these are people who dominate not only the North America, but entire globe, oh, Father, as far as news and as far as all that we need, the Father, yes. on our concern, oh, Lord. We yes. come to him into your hands this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We pray that, the Lord, you open his mind. Yes. Open his heart, oh, Lord. Oh, accept somehow, somewhere, oh, Lord, to stumble upon this prayer, to know that you care for him too, oh, Lord, yes. that yes. your same salvation message, oh, Lord, oh, into his house this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. Even as we pray this moment, oh, Lord, you send legions of angels to this individual's home, oh, Father, in a person of humans, oh, Lord. Oh, Father, to deliver the good news unto them, oh, Father. Oh, to give them the gospel knowledge, oh, Lord. Oh, to have them, oh, Lord. Oh, know very well that Christ Jesus Christ, that yeah. when came here in the flesh over 2,000 years ago, is for him to, oh, Lord. Oh, right now, oh, Lord, we bring before you, oh, the leader of the founder of Twitter, oh, Lord. Oh, Father Dorsey is lifted up into your hands in the name yeah. of Jesus, oh, Father. We pray that, oh, Lord. We pray that, oh, Lord, even as we we, we flip our phones, as we, 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 we reach out to our gadgets, oh, Lord, whether it is a phone, whether it's an iPad, whether, yeah. whatever form, whether it's a computer, whatever it is, Father, we, we tweak of our, our mind. We tweak, oh Lord, what is on our heart, oh Lord. Uh, this is how we consume news today, oh Father. This is why we are bringing all these people of prominence, oh Father. Yes. Your hands in the name of Jesus, oh Father. We pray that, Father, his mind is open to the gospel. We pray that our Lord's his heart is receptive, O oh Lord, to the good news, the only good news that has been delivered to mankind, that yeah. in Christ all mm. shall be saved, that in Christ all sins shall be forgiven, that in Christ humanity can, can be reconciled, the Father, yes. to the Lord. So we lift them up before you, Rainer, in the name of Jesus, the Father. Oh, Rainer, oh Lord, we want to bring before you all the players of this world, oh Lord. Yeah. We want to come into Father, the world spirit of Father, into your hands this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We commit the, the market into your hands, oh Lord. Yes, we yes. pray that, oh Father, even the treasury into your hands this moment, oh Father, at the federal level, oh Lord. It is as a result, oh Father, of all these men and women in higher places, oh Lord, that you are using, oh Father, to lead this great nation and at large uh, the world, oh Father. So we come in all these members into your hands this moment, oh Father, the rest of the social media, oh Father, and the leaders into your hands. We want to come right down, oh Father, to the news media, oh Lord, the leaders at CNN, oh Father, and the founders at CNN, oh Lord, those who see to it out, oh Father, the network goes the way they have chosen. We come into members and the leaders of CNN into your hands now in the name of Jesus, the Father, may you reign down your salvation power over the CNN network this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We lift yeah. up before you right now in the name of Jesus, the Father. Jesus. The Fox, the Father. Oh, the Fox. Oh, Fox News Outlet, the Father. We commit the leaders at that news outlet into your hands in the name of Jesus, the Father. We bring before you MNS, MSNBC. We yeah. bring before you ABC. We bring before you BBC. We bring before you every news outlet, oh Father, oh news match, oh Father, oh yeah. the major news outlets, oh Father, <clears throat> major players, oh Father, of the way we consume news, oh Father, all committed into your hands this moment in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Yeah. We pray that, oh Father, that same mercy that has been at our disposal, that same grace, oh Lord, that has brought us close to you, that has cleansed us when we were 
were far away from you, when we yes, were minding our own business, when we were wallowing in our own sins of Father, we pray that, oh Lord, that you bless them with that same grace, that same mercy, that same everlasting compassion, love, oh Father, and open their minds and hearts, oh Lord, that they may receive you, Father, as the only wise God, as the only Savior, as the only one who can save, oh Lord. We yes. commit all these personalities and entities into your hands this morning in the name of Jesus, yes. Lord. And we pray that, oh Father, even as we call on your name on their behalf, oh Lord, you're going to listen, you've listened to us, oh Lord, and you're going to make it possible for them, oh Father, to know that, oh Lord, folks are out here praying for them, yes. lifting them before and lifting them up before you, interceding on their behalf. We commit all these entities and their personalities into your hands collectively, O oh Father, that if there is any need of healing in their homes, O oh Lord, uh, you rain down the healing power. If there is any deliverance needed in their homes, O oh Lord, uh, you let the deliverance show for manifest it, O oh Father, in their various homes and various offices this moment in the name of Jesus, O oh Father. Yeah. We thank you that, O oh Lord, uh, you, if there Jesus. is any need, any lack, O oh Father, we know that, oh, Father, oh, a lot of these entities, a lot of the personalities of these entities and co co corporations, of oh, Father, have no need uh, for physical uh, currency, have no need of any material uh, uh, need, oh, Father, or wants in their lives, oh, Father. But we do know that, oh, Lord, they have one need, uh, the most important need in every human life, that is spiritual need, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, oh Lord, we pray even as we commit them into your hands this moment. I want to call on deaconess. Deaconess, I want you to pray and lift up all the governors into the hands of God this moment. Oh, starting right here in Michigan, our home yes. state, in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Father God, lifting up all the governors, Father God, of all 50 states, Father God, starting with our very own Gretchen Whitmer, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, pour out your spirit, Father God, of salvation, of healing, of restoration of peace father god in the name of jesus touch her heart and her mind father god lead her lead and guide her father god uh, by your spirit father god uh go into her mind father god and give her a mind father god to call on your name father god in leading her father god for this uh state of michigan in the name of jesus father yeah. god to her family's father each and every family member her husband or children grand uh, uh, grandparents extended family father god touch each and every one father god you know what they stand in need of father god be with them father god send out yeah. your your protection all around them, Father God. Send out your protection all around her, Father God, and each and every governor of these states, Father God. That same uh, restoration and salvation yeah. and healing spirit, Father God, pour on each and every governor of all 50 states, Father God. Lead them by your direction, Father God. Cause them to see see the light, Father God. Cause them to, 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 to yearn, Father God. Prick their hearts and mind, Father God, to call on the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, Father God. You died for each and every one of them, dear Lord, and their extended families, Father God. Cause them, Father God, to open their hearts and minds, Father God, and turn away from wickedness and evil, Father God, and yearn for righteousness through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, dear Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus, each and every governor in the name of Jesus, Father God. I pray and I give thanks in advance. Amen. 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 Pray for every physician. Uh, pray for all the physicians and uh, uh, physicians, nurses, mm -hmm. um, uh, pharmacists, uh, mm -hmm. hospital custodians. I want you to just pray uh, for the entire uh, health uh, health system, uh, healthcare professionals, right now in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you on behalf of our health system, Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you will bless 
every hospital, Father God, that take care of the soul of men and women. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, Father God, that you, Father God, will just lay your anointing on the hospitals, Lord, and on the doctors, Lord. Father, I ask that you'll bless every doctor, Father, that's operating on patients, Father God. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you will continue to give them the wisdom and the knowledge that they need to continue to do the job that you called them to do, which is to take care of humanity. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God, that you will save, their, save them and save their family, Father God. Father God, I pray, Father God, for the nurses, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will strengthen them, Father, in this COVID time, Father God. Oh, Father God, COVID seems to be wanting to take out everybody, but the nurses are on the front lines, Lord, and the doctors. And Lord, we just say thank you for their bravery. We thank you, Father, for their anointing, Lord. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, for the love that they show towards humanity, uh -huh. Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray not only for the doctors, I pray not only for the nurses, Lord, but Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you, Father, for the, uh, the, 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 the custodians, Lord, that take care of the place, that keep the place clean for the doctors and the nurses to use, that keep the places supplied with all of the materials that they need to do the job, Lord. We thank you for our custodians. We thank you for the people that stock everything, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come right now asking, Father God, that you will touch these hospitals and everyone that's in it, Father God. And Father God, even bless the patients that are there right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask that you bless the cooks that's there, Father, that fixes the food, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the shelves and the sous chefs, Lord. Everybody that's in the hospital that matters to the patient, Lord. Oh, Father God, strengthen them, Father, in these days and times in which we live, Father God. Keep them safe, Father. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, I pray for our pharmacists right now, Father God. I pray, Father God, for those that mix the medicines, Lord, and put them together for the healing of our bodies, Lord. I ask that you give them wisdom, Lord, and give them the knowledge, Lord, to continue to do the job, Father. I pray for their salvation and, and, and pray for the souls in their family, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you will touch every pharmaceutical company right now. Oh, Father God, every Walgreen, every CVS, Lord, in every yeah. pharmacy, Father God, touch right now, Father God. Bless the medicine that they put together to heal the body of those that are sick, Lord, and stand in need of a healing, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, Father, may Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, may you touch every medicine that they make, Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the pharmacists right now in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Deaconess, I want you one more time to pray. I want you to lift up uh, the law enforcement officers. Uh, the local ones and then uh, the federal ones. When we have a problem with that 911, I want you to lift them up into the hands of God and also pray that those among them that have not yet known uh, they are away spiritually in Christ may also find Jesus. May you pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I lift up our law enforcement officers, yeah. men and women, the ones that that you appointed, Father God, to protect us, Lord, and, and, and uphold the laws, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, pour out your healing spirit, your spirit of salvation to those who do not yet know you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Pour out your spirit of encouragement, Father God, in these last and evil days, Father God, where the enemy wants to distort, Father God, and come against the law 
law enforcement, Father God, but you appointed them, Father God, to do a job, Father God. Father, give them encouragement. Lift them up, Father God. Protect them, Father God. Dispatch your legions of angels around every law enforcement officer, Father God, all across this nation, their families, Father God. Oh, Father, cause them to call on your name, Father God, as they go out every day, Father, to upheld upon the laws when they face sudden death, Father God, when they face so much confusion, opposition, Father God, the enemy wants to want to take down the laws. We won't have no protection, Father God, but you appointed them, Father God, for that job, Father God, so endow them with your courage, your strength, Father, uplift them, Father God, by your power, Father God, oh, save those, Father God, that do not yet know you, Father God, show them the light of your love, Father God, Father God, I plead plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over every officer, starting with uh, right here in our great city of Detroit, Father God. Father God, as they go out every day, every morning, Father, starting their day, let them start their day, Father God, with calling on your name, getting on your knees and calling on the name of Jesus, Father God, in the name of just for protection, Father God, that nothing would happen to them, Father God, so they would, so that they may be able to come home, Father God, to their families, Father, to their various homes, Father God, and, and heal them, Father, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Father, of any ailments, Father anything that's wrong, Father God, let them bring it to you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for our law, our law enforcement, our police officer, our police men and women, Father God. They are our true heroes, Father God. They call the the sports people, the basketball players, heroes, Father God, but those that put their life on the line every day, Father God, without, without no recognition, Father God. Father God, Give them their peace. Give them, show them your peace, Father God. Show yourself to them. Show yourself to them, Father God, and know, Father God, that there's someone that looking, that's looking after them, that loves them, Father God, that know that they're protected by, by the precious blood of Jesus, Father God. Lift up each, I lift up each and every one, Father God, unto you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, and I thank you. We thank you for each and every one. Yes. Hallelujah. Rev, I want you to one more time. I want you to lift up uh, every minister uh, of the gospel that today being Sunday, that every minister will be true, uh, true to the word of God, and that they will teach and preach the word of God and have uh, the unsaved ones on their minds and have the saved ones also that the saved ones will be instructed according to the word of God that every preacher and every minister will not just uh, water down uh, uh, the message of the gospel about stay truth to the word and deliver the word for encouragement for chastisement and that do appeal those messages will be appealing to the unsaved may you pray for all the ministers today and for every pulpit today hallelujah father god in the name of jesus I come on behalf of every minister, every preacher, every pastor, Father God, every church door that's open in your name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God, that you, Father God, will bless every pastor, every preacher, Father God, that preach your word, that, Father God, they'll be true to your word and true to themselves, Lord. That, Father God, that they will preach the word and be instant in season and out of season, Lord. That, Father, not only that they will preach the word, but that they will live the word. For we know that everybody that say, Lord, Lord, don't live, Lord, Lord. Lord, I ask in Jesus' name, Father God, that every minister that you have called, that you have chosen, Lord, may they teach the word of God. And Lord, may they preach the word of God. Yeah. And Lord, may they live the word of God. And may they be an example before the parishioners, Lord. Oh, Father God, as they preach the word and teach the word, 
to the parishioners, Lord. May they do it with an open heart. May they do it with a sincere heart, Lord. Teaching, Father God, the parishioners, Lord, the members of how to live a godly, sanctified, saved life. Lord, I ask in Jesus' name, Lord, that every church door that's opening your name, that every pastor will do that. Father, I ask that you will lead them and, and guide them, Father God. Direct them and correct them, O oh Lord. Father, I ask that every member that come to their church will come crying, what must I do to be saved? Yes. And may the ministers have the word of God ready for them, Father God. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let them be saved by the preaching and the watering of your word, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. I ask that you will strengthen every preacher and pastor Jeez. in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, I ask that, Father God, you will touch right now. Oh, Lord, their families, their family members, Lord, and their family families, Lord. Father, I ask in Jesus' name, Lord, that you will allow your word to work and, and, and be seasoned in their lives, Lord. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, touch right now. Oh, Father God, every member there in these churches, Lord, let them not preach, Father, just for the money. Let them not preach just for the fame, Lord. Let them not preach just for the fortune, Father God, but let them preach in the name of Jesus, Lord. Whether they get money or whether they don't get money, Lord, let the gospel ring out through the pe to the people, oh, Lord. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, touch them right now. Oh, Father God, every church door that's open in your name. Oh, Lord, I ask that you will lead them and guide them, direct them and correct them. In Jesus' matchless name, Father God, save their souls, Lord. Save every soul that comes through the door, Lord. And Father, may they go back and save their family because they've heard the preaching of the gospel, Father God. Father, may we get in the streets, Lord, and go and tell this dying world that the wages of sin is still death but that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, Lord. Oh, Father, may us may we all preach, Father God, in season and out of season. May we all live according to your word, Lord. Father God, we need you in these days and time, Father God. Amen. We're living in the last days, Father God, and we Amen. know, Father God, that the preaching of the gospel will save the souls, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, may your word go forth. And not return to you, boy, Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father, we want to bring before you this moment, oh Father, the leaders around the globe, oh Lord, uh, those who have not yet known you, oh Lord, as we are in your presence today, as we are, oh Father, as we are interceding for uh, members of the world and leaders and uh, all over today there are those who are following other gods they may be sincere or oh, sincere oh, father thinking that they are doing the right thing oh father but your word is very clear you said no one comes to the father but through you no one knows the truth but through you you are the truth you are the way you are the life so i lift up every imam over the world. I lift up every Confucius leader over the world. I lift up every, every member and a leader of Buddha, every leader, father of any other religious groups this moment in the name of Jesus, oh Father. I bring all these leaders into your hands, oh Father, and I bring president, various presidents, oh Father, and prime ministers, oh Father, uh, all over the five continents, oh Lord, and commit all these men and women into your hands today, oh Lord, that whatever temples they find themselves in, whether it is today Day, whether it is during the week, whether it is during the month, oh Father, as they bow down to their other gods, oh Lord, you manifest yourself to them, oh Lord, that they may turn their, turn their, their faces away from these adulterous gods, oh Lord, and come to know you as the only wise and the only God that can save their souls, oh Lord. We want to commit specifically, oh Father, China.
China into your hands, O oh Lord. Yeah. We bring India into your hands, oh Father. The continent of Africa is lifted into your hands, O oh Lord. Uh, we come the continent of Europe into your hands, yeah. Lord. Uh, the continent of South America is committed into your hands this moment, oh Father, and commit the continent of oh, Northern America into your hands, oh Father. We yeah. commit members of our neighbors, uh, oh Lord, our communities, oh Father, all lifted before you this moment in the name of Jesus, oh Father. Our zip code 48228, oh Lord, is in man's in the blood of Jesus, the Father, we commit each and every member of our community into your hands this moment in the name of Jesus, the Father. We pray that, O oh Lord, you shine your word of salvation. Yeah. You shine, oh God, oh, that you have for them, for them to know that you, the only wise God, are there for them. We want to thank you, even as we commit our children before uh, into your hands this moment, oh Father. Our teenagers are before you this hour. Oh Lord, our young adults are all into your hands this moment, oh Father. Our grandkids, oh Lord, uh, those that are yet to be born uh, and uh, the future spouses for all of our kids are committed into your hands in the name of Jesus, oh Father. Uh, those that are preparing themselves for college are all committed into your hands, oh Father. Their future professors and teachers are all, all lifted into your hands this moment in the name of Jesus, even as we commit today's activity into your hands, Lord, as we speak through VMI, oh, Father, bring us the word in season and out of season, a word of edification and word of chastisement. Open our minds and hearts today, oh, Lord, as we speak through us today uh, for the rest of the service, oh, Lord, may you make it so vivid, oh, Father, oh, and, and most most of all, O Lord, may we leave your presence today, O Lord, knowing pretty well about our Father. We have come into the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who has mercy in abundance, the one whose oh grace has no bounds. We want to thank you today. Again, O Lord, we look forward. Oh, as you speak to us and shower us. Oh Lord, with the blessings of your peace. Oh Lord, today for the rest of the service, we give you glory and give you honor. And look forward to what you have in store for us, even as we bring this prayer to an end. We know, as your word says, your eyes are upon the righteous yeah. and your ears are open to their cry. We do know that, O oh Father, every word authored, O oh Lord, has come to the throne room of your grace. Because we do know that based on your word in 1 John 5, 14, it said, For this is the confidence we have in you, that whatsoever we pray, whenever we ask, whenever we come into your presence, we do know that we receive. We thank you. We give you glory. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray now. We thanksgiving.